The Tazama pipeline plays a vital role in fueling the economy by transporting diesel. However, its performance has struggled to meet growing demand. To improve efficiency, management has introduced a chemical reagent to increase daily pumping capacity from 2.8 million to 3.6 million liters. This innovation will change our dynamics in terms of economic growth. The introduction of the drug reducing agent is a strategic response to these demands. And also we are going to reduce the pressure on our roads because colleagues, it's very expensive to maintain roads. Energy Minister Makoza Chikote also shared the vision for the pipeline's future. We are going to start another new pipeline to supplement to what we have done so far. Tazama fully funded the 900,000 US dollars project. With the increased flow rates and the transportation fee of $54 per metric ton, the project is expected to achieve a return on investment within two months of operation. The government of Tanzania extends its assurance of support that we will continue supporting Tazama to say that you perform even better. We all know that energy is the lifeblood of any economy. For us to live, we depend entirely on this pipeline. Management takes pride in the project's success, driven by local engineers from both Tanzania and Zambia. The implementation and rollout of the DRA was work that was entirely done by our own Tazama local engineers from Zambia and Tanzania with no expatriate at all. The addition of the drug reducing agents on the pipeline will improve efficiency and increase pumping capacity of diesel. This means that the supply of diesel on the market will increase to meet the growing demand of the commodity. McPherson Mukuka at the Tazama tank farms in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.